Hey guys, for this tutorial, I'm going to go over the different types of Boolean operations and then any potential problems that you might encounter when trying to make Booleans. Okay, so really quickly, a Boolean operation is just when you join two different solids to each other or when you subtract one solid from another um, or when you create a kind of uh, split where you sort of get the intermediate piece between two, the intersection of two solids, okay? This is another way of thinking of this is to think about different ways in which you can carve a solid in Rhino, okay? It's through Boolean operations. So as you can see here, I'm starting out with a cube and I'm gonna copy that cube over and move it and do different types of um, things to it. But we, in order to do a Boolean operation, we need to start with two solid objects. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to also uh, type a sphere here and I'm gonna make a sphere. Uh, and so we're gonna start out with these two objects. What's important to also note about these two objects is that uh, as we've talked about in other tutorials, spheres have double curvature and cubes have single curvature um, or really no curvature at all. Uh, and that means that the sphere, we can intersect them, we can do all sorts of stuff. Once we get to the, the actual uh, act of trying to build this uh, as a physical object, we have to do some kind of a paneling or something so that we can actually build this surface, unless we're gonna purely just carve it or 3D print it. Uh, we need some kind of approximation of a spherical surface because uh, double surfaces with double curvature are hard to build in real life. Okay, so, but let's go over the different Boolean commands. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place this so that these two objects intersect each other. And uh, here, so I'm just moving them so, so we can see here the sphere kind of carves into the cube or vice versa. Okay. So uh, I'm going to do it, move it a little bit more. And here you can see I'm just using that, that command of, of moving um, by either just by using um, the space bar or typing N and then uh, the space bar. Okay. So we can see here this kind of produced some kind of strange intersection, which seems uh, kind of interesting. So the first thing is I'm going to just go ahead and copy this over. And I'm going to copy it a couple times so that we can look at the different types of Boolean operations. Okay. So with this first cube and uh, sphere here, the first thing that we're going to look at is how to uh, create a Boolean difference. In other words, how to subtract one object from the other. Okay. So the command is, like I said, Boolean difference. And when I select that command, the first thing that it asks me is to select a polysurface from which to subtract. So in this case, the first one, I'm going to select the cube, and then I'm going to press enter. After that, it's going to ask me select the surface or polysurfaces to subtract with. So what do you want to carve out of it? In this case, I'm going to select the sphere and press enter. And it'll think for a little while, and then you'll see what it has done is it has carved that sphere out of that cube, okay? So uh, if I go ahead and do that same thing, let me just copy that over here, and then I'm gonna select those two and I'm gonna move it just a little bit so, so that we have it kind of, this is still the same operation, but just the reverse, just so we see it, right? So again, Boolean difference, if now instead I choose the sphere and then I choose the cube, uh, you'll see, right? In fact, if we do that, then we get actually, and you'll see here, this is important to note, it, it actually produces two separate uh, objects, right? Because that cube intersects that sphere and cuts it into two separate things, okay? So that is Boolean difference, okay? So that's carved. All right, so another thing that we can do is uh, Boolean union, which is actually, instead of carving, is to put those two together. This is actually really important if you want to 3D print things uh, to make sure that they print correctly. So um, Boolean union is actually, what it does is it, it 
put those two together and joins all those surfaces correctly, right? Because if we look at this, actually, this, these are still two separate things. Yes, visually, they look like one is inside the other, but actually we, we don't know or we haven't defined those intersection points and we haven't deleted the stuff that's duplicated or the, you know, the mass that's duplicated on the inside. So if I grab both of them, or actually let's do it for the correct, let's type Boolean and now union, press enter, and it's gonna ask me to select all the things that I want to union together. So in this case, I'll select both uh, objects at the same time and now press enter. It'll think for a little while and then you'll see here, right? And so you see here now, now it's all one solid. Um, and what's really important here is if I go into my ghosted view, right? The interior is empty, right? And there isn't duplicate material on the interior, which is really important. So in other words, now that is just one single poly complex poly surface, okay? So that's Boolean union. Sorry, I moved uh, one too many. Now we're back to our shaded view. Okay, and then the last command is a Boolean split, okay? Now, what a Boolean split is it, what it does is it kind of creates a compilation of these two. And, and so with a Boolean split, it's going to ask me which objects do I want to split. So uh, I'm going to select, in this case, both of these. And I'm going to press Enter. And what do you want to split them with? And I'm going to want to split them with themselves. So I select both of them and press Enter. And now you'll see what it has done is it has created both this, which is the, the carve out of that one, right? It has also created these two, which are, you know, the, the difference in the other direction. And then it has also created, and it created it twice because it carved it out both, right? So this is a dupe, has an exact duplicate, exact copy of itself. You can do this one. But this is essentially the remnant right the, the the amount of material that was shared by both of them so it creates you know all three versions of that okay so uh that is the the boolean split okay another way to just achieve this little guy here is to do a boolean diff um a boolean intersection and a boolean intersection is only going to produce this Okay, so in that case, I would say this one. Uh, sorry, I would say this one, this one, and it would just produce that object. Okay, so those are the various different Boolean commands. Um, and one important thing to note in all of them, you'll notice that I only work with closed, fully enclosed poly surfaces. And that is critical to the success of this. So if you try to make, here, I'm just going to copy this. And if you try to make a Boolean intersection with a, with a fully enclosed object and one that is not, it will not work uh, in all instances. So for example, here, I'm going to draw another random rectangle. And I'm going to move this here. And I'm going to extrude this. right and move it down just a little bit so you'll see here i have a non-closed uh, poly surface and a closed one so if i try to do any of the boolean uh commands with that these two objects it probably will it will not work right so i'm going to select that one as the thing to subtract from then i'm going to select this to to subtract Right? And it says Boolean difference fail. And then it shows me why. Um, and the reason why is because this thing that we were subtracting for is not closed. And so it doesn't really know where the subtract, subtraction ends, right? Because it's an empty void on the inside. So it doesn't really have enough information to make that Boolean operation. So if you're running into issues with your Boolean commands, it probably has something to do with the fact that you're intersecting a closed poly surface with something that is not closed in and of itself, okay? Uh, so there you go, that's, that's Boolean operations in a nutshell. And uh, 
which allows you to make really, really complex shapes fairly quickly through this kind of carving or joining together of different types of shapes. See you guys in the next one.